Tamson and Corey, Open House New York offers a peek into some of the most exclusive architecture in the city. We found the spot that has the weirdest architecture, arguably, but it proves that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So this is a pile of wallboard. Wallboard, old pipes, all. and piles of tile. So it took about a day to stack each individual tile piece. Demolition of a dated 80s loft in the garment district, spurring a group of New York architects and designers to think differently. When we got at it, we realized that we had like, we were going to generate like a ton of material, in fact, 36 tons. Instead of tossing everything in a landfill, Walter Kane and his team transformed every scrap into something new. As soon as we walked in after the demolition was complete and we saw the what the contractors left behind, we just all the juices started to get flying. The demo demo exhibit for Open House New York showcases the waste created by demolition and construction. No longer a washing machine, it's it's just an object, and so you add more objects to it, and then it becomes art. Seemingly useless rubble was even turned into an optical illusion. There's a mirror in the bottom, and I never even conceived of this, but. A lot of people climb up here think that that's a hole to the apartment below, including the lady that lives downstairs. We got her. Everything in the exhibit will eventually be recycled or turned into something new for the apartment's renovation, like this new tile crafted from old tiles that would otherwise be tossed. It turns out that a quarter of the volume of material that goes to landfills from New York City is from its demolition material from renovations just like this. The exhibit was a two-month labor of love, the ultimate experience in repurposing, with the goal of spreading a message that construction can and should be sustainable. Not just um, reusing something for its intended purpose, but to repurpose something into something completely unimaginable. The Demo Demo exhibit is all sold out on the Open House New York website, but we have a way for you to still get in. Just head over and click on the story on pix11.com. Reporting in Midtown, Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.